Right, this initiates the vacuum pump manually down here. And what we've done is simply taken a quarter of a plastic tube across and attached it to the two distributor tubes in the top. So it's actually making this vacuum via that now. The rest is engineering. Right, now with the process timer, what you're going to do is enter the defrost control. This brings us into the parameters. The one we need is MDF. MDF is the time of the defrost. So in seven minutes now, I normally give it one or two minutes. Press set again to lock it in. Okay, the way it's set now is that every hour it'll give a two minute vacuum. And the two minute vacuum will draw air in through three small holes that are drilled around the back of the aquarium exactly on the water line. It's exactly the same principle the uh, large aquarium in Vietnam is using, but with ports to extend the level of the water above the water line. Okay, so to initiate the vacuum here manually, you press the uh, star button. Okay, the small dot here shows it's coming. Uh, the vacuum pump starts down here. It is now sucking air out the top of the aquarium and that is being replaced by air being drawn in as this level goes down. Like I say, once you get used to the basic idea of using a homemade vacuum pump, it makes the whole process very simple. There's really no end of things you can do with it. I can use this one vacuum pump for providing an air supply on this one, and also on this one to evacuate the tunnel and fill it to get the water when I need to 